in their uh, DNA molecule, the 10 base pairs are present in uh, the one turn of the DNA molecule. Now, there. And DNA molecule has the major and minor grooves. These are the two grooves. Major groove is a deep groove and the minor groove is the shallow groove. This uh, DNA molecule proposed by the Watson and Crick, uh, it has the diameter of 20 angstrom. So this is the double stranded DNA molecule uh, or double stranded model of the DNA molecule proposed by the Watson and Crick design. So I already told you about this model. Uh, in yesterday's lecture. So it has the diameter of the 20 angstrom diameter. The, or, this is the Watson and Crick model of the DNA groups. Major group, this is the major group and this is the minor group, okay? Major and minor group. So this once uh, you can see from distance here, if you take an here to the one turn of the DNA molecule. You can see this is the this is the distance. Okay, so this one one turn from here to here. This one turn. It is uh, near about nowadays. It is a calculated six angstrom. Okay, it is thirty six angstrom. Then the in each turn there are 10 base pairs are present in each turn of the DNA molecule, which was proposed, that is a B form of the DNA molecule. 10 base pairs uh, are present, and these are perpendicular to the central axis. This is the central axis of this uh, DNA molecule or DNA double helix, and these are base pairs are present perpendicular here. You can say these are the perpendicular. And distance between the base pairs, it is the 3.6 angstrom nowadays. You can see 3.6 angstrom. Okay, this distance in between base pairs. Two strands runs opposite direction. One strand runs in the this direction. Five prime. You can see this is three prime. Five prime to three prime. While other strand runs from the five prime in this direction and you can see this stand it is the like this it runs into the five prime to three prime direction okay, this is a three prime and while other stand runs uh, in this direction it is the five prime to three prime direction means opposite uh, uh, in opposite direction they runs so you can see if we take an uh, opposite direction into the consideration. So this is a five prime to three prime, and this is a three prime to five prime. So and these stands are the anti parallel to each other. Here you can see why these are anti parallel or how these are anti parallel. If we uh, see the structure of the DNA, so these are the base pairs the interior to the DNA molecule. So these are the base pairs, okay? So these are the base pairs. And uh, this is the sugar phosphate backbone, like this. These are the, this, uh, this is the sugar phosphate backbone. Here, this is the sugar phosphate backbone, sugar phosphate, sugar. Again, next will be phosphate. And this other stand, you can see, it is a five prime to three prime. But it is a three prime to five prime means it is inverted. It's this strand, it is another strand, it is in inverted position. Are you getting it? Okay. This strand, this is a one, is the you can see this is the one strand, but another strand it is in inverted position. Strands are the anti-parallel to each other. This is a, a double helical structure proposed by the Watson and Crick, and it was found correct uh, into the uh, natural organisms, maybe the bacteria or maybe the eukaryotic cells 
or maybe the uh, any kind of the living organism they contains the b form of the dna always remember they contains this b form of the dna so all these are the highlights are given i already told you is given in nanometer means 3.6 nanometer so uh, here in this case uh, one strand it is the sugar phosphate sugar phosphate sugar phosphate sugar while other strand it is runs in opposite direction and the base pairs are interior to this dna molecule okay like this this is the dna model okay and this is the central axis of the dna model then we'll discuss about the right handed what do you mean by right handed and what do you mean by the left hand these are the turns turns towards the right handed you can see about this right handed this uh, turns like this these are the turns okay means towards the right hand your right hand this is your right hand okay the turns are uh, towards the right hand and uh, if you uh, consider here the turns towards the left hand you can see these are the turns towards the left hand side okay hence it is called as the right handed dna and this is called as the left handed dna so uh, right handed dna it is a re present into vivo and this is also called as the b form of the dna okay and the left handed dna it is called as a z form of the this is a dimming cell then mm, we are going to see these are the base pairs uh, here adenine pairs with the thymine by forming two hydrogen bonds here and this is the uh, base pair guanine with the cytosine uh, by for uh, three hydrogen bonds these are the two uh, base pair adenine always pairs with the thymine and the guanine always pairs with the cytosine hence uh, no doubt uh, it is uh, very very clear in all of the Organisms. The base pairing rule it was given by the E. Chargaff, and on the basis of the chemical data of the E. Chargaff, on the basis of the physical uh, structural data that is the X-ray crystallographic work of the uh, Wilkins and Franklin, and this scientist uh, Watson and Crick uh, proposed the model, this DNA model, double helix DNA model. Uh, model and uh, subsequent years they got the nobel prize for this proposed uh, this dna model uh, which was proposed by the scientists then what are the different forms of the dna dna exists in uh, generally three forms okay so uh, b form is the normal means uh, uh, it presents into the normal uh, cells or normally cells or naturally it presents into all living organisms but a and z forms are the artificial or these forms are present only into the vitro means into the laboratory the these forms uh, are get converted into the presence of the uh, higher salts okay in concentration of the higher salt if this dna molecules are suspended into the higher sol concentration then their form changes from b form to a form and then a form to the z form of the dna like this this is the dna molecule it is a b form of the no dna normal dna and their structure and you can see this is a z a form of the dna it is also the right handed structure but uh certain uh, dimensions are changes here it becomes uh, more compact and z form is the uh, having the zigzag motion not the straight line but it is a zigzag motion in the, their sugar phosphate backbone and they are more and more compact and they are left handed structure of the dna molecule we are going to see the comparative account of this dna and this is very important for the 
object type question whatever your examination will be conducted um so you it is these are important to answer these object type questions so helical sense it is a right handed b form is the right handed it is the natural form of the uh, dna presents into the cell this is the natural form or the model proposed by the watson entry okay then helical form a form is right handed b form is also right handed but z form is the left handed structure diameter of the dna a form is the 26 angstrom but diameter of the b form of the dna it is 20 angstrom as we discussed in the structure and diameter of z form of the dna it is 18 angstrom so the uh, base pair angle rise per base pair that is the in b form it is the 36 degree as i uh, told you uh, and uh, into the a form it is 28 and uh, z form it is the 44 angle so the base pair in per uh, turn of the helical it is 11 base pair in a form then 10 base pair normal form of the dna and 12 base pairs are present into the z form of the dna and because of that it is more and more compact as compared to the other forms dna form then the uh, rise of the base pair helix per rise means it uh, rise of the this base pair into the b form is 3.6 angstrom 3.7 angstrom in z form and 2.6 angstrom into the and uh, you can see yeah, the glycosyl bond for confirmation it is a anti confirmation anti confirmation in b also anti for the pyrimidine and um, syn for the purines these are the certain important